This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, Valdemar back here with another episode of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. In the last episode, we kind of just messed around as we tried to uh, get artifacts, you know, finish off some missions, stuff like that. So, uh, and me failing at, the, at beating the swords mini game or whatever it was, uh, which I did eventually off screen, so, you know, it, was, it took me a couple tries. I don't know why I had trouble with it, it's not that hard, but. Anyway, off screen, I unlocked most of the forge towers you can get at this moment. There are a couple more you can get, but for now, story wise, we can't go anymore. I've done all the survival challenges that you could, could right now that you could find. Most of the stuff can be found on the map, and there's usually suggestions on how to, like, get the herbs um, through the map here if you're having trouble with it. Usually, what I do is I just kind of run around the, the edge and just see if I found anything that come across. I've noticed the. There's, like,. Like, those first two on the herbs on the barrels of Undine, like those, those seem to be found in, like, caves and stuff like that, so if you can... And there's, like, a really long cave, like, some system around here. You'll probably find most of those around there. So, not too difficult. And the hunting ones, there was one where you had to hunt those, like, flying creatures. You know, you can fight bats or whatever. Usually just... If you go to caves, the bats will usually pop up, so that's the best place i found to fight them. Then you had to fight those caradors or whatever those, those beasts. They're all over the place, those are easy to find. Then there's one where you had to find rats to fight or kill. The easiest place I saw to kill rats was up here, near the Black Gate. They kind of spawn, they usually spawn near areas where buildings are, so that's where I found it, about like right here. That's where I found them, all four of them, so. But anyway, I've done a lot more of the story before I can do any more of the challenges. And I've done most of the weapon challenges that you can right now. Uh, I can't do all, a lot of them because some of them I need to have certain abilities and a lot to do that. So for now, I'm going to get like a couple of the artifacts and items here, and then we'll start the quest. So that way we'll actually get some plot for a while uh, because I've done all most of that stuff off screen. I won't have to worry about doing that for the most part. And I'm not super powerful because the game obviously restricts certain abilities that can't be got till you hit certain points so that's good so although i've upgraded most of my regular stats like hp and how many arrows i get and all that but anyway the grog bowl the myth of the filthy crud crud encrusted uruk grog bowl is just that uruk traders beat it into their charges to keep their grog bowls as clean as possible to avoid the old soldier's disease these bowls are commonly made of clay and baked in huge kilns, but Mordor has proved a fit fruitful realm for the Uruks, and now some bowls are made of metal or wood. Ooh, fancy. Some Uruks are just a... Uh, oh, there it is. Over there in the corner. We'll go tonight. No more being bossed around by that damned Urukai. We'll sneak into the barracks and bleed that spark dry. He won't be so high and mighty when he's dead. And we'll run the place. You... Balls for us. <laughs> Face me, Morgrog. We won't be going hungry. That's a fact. Ooh. Well then. All right. Okay. Let me mark on our map here. Oh, and I found out that the why there's an issue with the loading. Apparently, all Xbox 360 versions have this issue where they just have long load times, even when you go into the pause screen. So. Yeah, that's an Xbox 360 issue. Uh, apparently, it's not, as far as I know, it's not a common in the PS3 version. And obviously, in the, the Xbox, 360, or Xbox One version, this or the. Have is a harsh but um, effective medicine. These Uruk truly are twisted reflections of my kin. I keep forgetting that, uh, that, uh, they usually have some comment after we find an artifact, so. But anyway, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so if you're getting, if you're getting the, uh,. If you're getting this game, strongly suggest not getting the Xbox version. That's all I can really say. And I'm usually not one of those guys to go, Oh, you... Triddoel Shatith, or Satith Fween. Okay. That's one of the... Although I don't know if I even have to show me getting these when you think about it, because, I mean, there's no dialogue that talks about after we get those, so... And the map tells us where everything is, so it's not like, oh, you gotta go here to find it, so... Which is good. I don't think I'd want to... I don't think I'd want to play an open world game where you had to take forever to find, you know, stuff. Oh, apparently it's... Oh, okay, we just have to draw. I was about to say, oh, it's underground. I was like, no, it's just over here. Okay, let's grab that. 
Pu Pui Gadol Dagor. Unfortunately, I couldn't really tell what it looked like because we'd already been hit by the... Alright, that was easy. Let's grab these three, I think. Yeah, we'll grab these three and then we'll do the plot. So another two more of those signs and a artifact and we'll uh, we'll do some plot for a bit so yeah that's the problem with these open world I games really for the most part like life. if you're recording it's almost better to stream these types of games than it is to just straight out record it like I do because of uh, um, just because of like what like what you can come across during the game yeah you could have some unique situations if you just like record it or you know obviously you could record it for editing purposes but I don't know I don't and open world games are definitely harder to record straight out because you have to you have to kind of just do a lot of the stuff off screen I mean you could show every single thing and that would make the game last like forever and I don't know I definitely don't want to have like a hundred episodes of Shadow of Mordor as as much as I'm enjoying the game for the most part Ak Akared Akared Akared? I'm not sure. Alright, let's grab that. Although I don't really think I need a market now that I think about it, but... Yeah. But, yeah, I could have 100 episodes of this, but I'd rather not. Actually, I'd rather not have long episodes of any series, frankly. Clearer. It shows what came to pass, and what may come to be should we succeed against the Black Hand. Oh, I guess he does sometimes talk when you uh, get runes and stuff like that. Kind of like he doesn't always talk when you get uh, when you get the forges, but uh, sometimes he does. Yeah, it's kind of random. Oh, there it is over there. A lot of this stuff's just kind of hidden. All right, find another artifact, and then we'll get one more rune and do the do the story. Hopefully, I have enough time to at least have to do some of the story. Rusted Horn. This horn heralded the great victory at the end of the Second Age by the last alliance at the Battle of Dagorland. 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 It blew in defiance of the mouth of Sauron and assembled army of more than 300,000 orcs and the Dark Lord himself who ruled over the forces aligned against the men and elves. It sounded the charge on the battle plains and serenaded the fallen dead, those unfortunate souls who had been forever doomed to haunt the dead marshes. Oop. There it is. I just gotta... There we go. They say the enemy is weak on the left, and that the dwarves will tear through them there. Maybe then we can leave these filthy marshes and go home. Yesterday, the enemy made a call for parley. We saw the emissary's party ride out, a terrible black figure atop a black horse, and flanked by two huge men, similarly clad in black. They were not allowed to ride among our lines, and in suspicion, they would scout our disposition and report back to their vile master. Instead, a small group of elves and men rode out to meet him. We could not hear what was said, but there will be no peace. Around the camp there are whispers. They say the emissary's mouth blackened and burned with Sauron's words, and that saying them caused the emissary great pain. He promised only slavery and toil, and I am Hell to believe it. I cannot help but think we will never make it into Mordor. Only death awaits us here. Ah, Yuri Lowenthal. I always hear you in every single game I play in some role or another. At least he's getting work. But anyway, I think they're talking about the Mouth of Sauron in that uh in that little scene. Mouth of Sauron is only shown... I mean, he's talked about in the books and the appendices and stuff like that, but uh, they, there it's actually in the movie, there's actually a cut scene which you can only see if you get the extended version of the movie, which I like the War of the Rings, but I'll admit... On the dead marshes. I thought he just saw his own fear. The sleepless dead, the shadow men, the dead ones. Mordor calls to them all. But uh, there's a. If you watch the extended version of. Uh, quit climbing on everything, you dork. I'm not trying to purposely. You know what? When I want to, like. Uh, like when I want to be. Uh, climbing on things, it doesn't let me. And then when I don't, it makes me. So. Yeah, I summon the. Uh, I summon the thing, but that doesn't matter. Alright. Let's see what this is. Uh, I. Uh, Akortha Ivorn. 
I think. I think. All right, let's uh, lock, caught that in, and do the Spirit of Mordor finally after so many episodes. Like I said, I was trying to clear out most of the stuff off screen so you guys wouldn't have to watch me like uh, just. I mean, okay, some of the weapon missions, I'll admit, weren't all the same, but basically all the weapon missions are you basically taking stuff you've learned throughout the game and reapplying it, so you could almost call them extended tutorials, like how to ride the corridors or how to, you know, uh, do better on focusing your bow, stuff like that, so. Anyway. Oh, there's a... Huh. The spirit of Mordor, Sauron's Uruks relentlessly abuse lesser orcs in their violent struggles for power. Investigate how the power of the Wraith can exploit these struggles, piercing weak minds to bring down the enemy forces from within. One orc mind in particular shines as a blazing beacon of weakness. This is how we learn a new ability, by the way, but we'll see, we'll watch the story as we, uh, as we lock it. Come close if you want the back hand. Oh, slave scum, I'll pour a poison in your ear. As you cut these ropes, right bag will tell you everything. <laughs> hmm. Now, what would you know that all these other dead orcs didn't? Go ahead, you bastard! Do it! I'll die, and you'll know nothing! Maybe I'll grant your request. End your miserable life. No, 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 no. I was just a Look! Those slaves are no match for the orc army. Their schemes as rotten as barrel fish. But Ratbag can teach you the ways of the orc. Ratbag can make your plan work. Hmm. We're going to find out what you know. <laughs> I uh, hope he has any mind all for any cramps or aspirin for headaches for this one. Gotta talk about something during the middle of the loading. Now, I don't I don't mind loading, but it's ridiculous when you have to, when it does it between pause screens. That's bad. Not like Bloodborne bad, where when it first came out, at least in Bloodborne, it loaded the whole level, and then that's it. Like, yeah, if you transfer to a new like scene or area, then it had to load, but usually you had this whole big area before it had to do it, and you didn't have to load it during pause. Anyway. Let's uh, choose a random dude. Let's do the one that Arrow's telling us to do. Gain intel. Goroth Karagor Tamer. Oh, he tames those like creatures. Looking for a beast to prove his mastery over. Okay. Well, at least he gave us some intel, so there you go. Um, oh, okay. Goroth has a weakness that you can exploit. His, it was like the game wouldn't let me go. Uh, his fear of Karagors will... Oh, he's afraid of them, but yet he's trying to train him. His fear of Karagors will terrify him into running, stumbling coward. If you can expose him to a Karagor, he'll lose some of his strength and become an easier... T but he's a tamer, right? That doesn't make sense. Okay, whatever. Can be instantly killed by mounted beast finishers. So if you're on a beast and you have the times 8 modifier, you can instantly kill him. That's kind of neat. That that some creatures have instant. Oh, this is basically telling the strengths and the weaknesses that I figured out like in the s first or second episode. Whatever. Strengths. Uh, beware, Gwarth has strengths as well. He is immune to ranged attacks. So your ranged attacks won't hurt him. He also has a powerful heavy attack and loyal Uruk followers to protect him. Okay. Remember, many weaknesses can only be exploited if you gain intel first. Right. Uh, makes sense. Okay. Thank you, Ratbag. I don't know what type of name Ratbag is. Seems uh, a mess to be either it's a given name or it's a demeaning name. <laughs> now, your problem, Ranger, is the war chiefs. Strong leaders they are. Now, if something were to happen to them, they wouldn't be able to stop your little insurrection, would they? I would hunt them down. <laughs> How? They're not very popular around here, and they know it. But you can find them. Oh, yes! Ratbag will show you the way. You help me, I help you. Do not make me regret this deal. Marvelous! 
Now let's stop faffing about, eh? First, we need to take care of a certain captain. And a few caragors. Come with me, Ranger! You can tell it's a goofy scene when you can when you hear the goofy music the See, music makes the game and the scene, folks. You can kind of just tell. So, hopefully we'll be able to finish this by the end of the episode. So, all right. You Come can't on, dude. trust them. Those slaves are stabby in the back. At least an Uruk will stab you in the front. Most likely to throw. We have similar goals, Ranger. See, uh -huh. you want to kill the captain, and somebody's got to take his place. And that's you. Somebody like Redback. So this Goroth is in charge? Of this camp, yeah. But he's no war chief. They answer directly to the Black Hand. Well. I'll show them all when I'm in the Black Hand's inner circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. My war chief. Then prepare to step hard on his neck. How did you get uh -oh. this, scum? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, defenders. Defenders will block frontal attacks and must be hit from behind, so yeah. I've done these guys before off screen. Leave the vermin alone! And face me, Urix! There we go. Oh, I gotta get back to Ratback before he takes some damage. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate if I'm not talking too much, so. Ranger, quickly! Ow! I don't do well with pointy ends shot into me. There you go, you're fine. Well done, Ranger. Now, just picture all these corpses as Gorov. Visualize your goals. Gorov's been out for Ratbag for years. Smug piece of donger he is. We this come to blows as far shit, back you know. as Ratbag can remember. Still, Ratbag never wins. Last time, he kicks Ratbag into the category pit. All the others fun. laugh as a Karagor bats right back around like a yarn ball. Oh, that Gorov's gonna pay. Smug piece of dung. He'll pay. So are there nerds Gorov keeps Karagors in pens. And rumor has it, he doesn't like to get too close to them. And let me guess, you think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there. Never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Oh, that explains the smell. Keep out of sight. I'll see that your captain gets demoted. Alright, search for Gorth without raising alarms. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, I've already done the whole uh, uh, unlocking Gor uh, Karagor pins like pretty much off screen, but, uh, uh, you know. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything around here, so. Should be easy to get to him without raising the alarm. Usually, run, uh, usually economy pretty high is the best way to do that. So, like I said, I, I think I think this game has some issues, but overall, it's a uh, it has some interesting mechanics that uh, that I'm surprised other games haven't tried to implement yet. Especially the um, especially the oh, um, hopefully that guy didn't see me. Uh, especially the. Uh, um, uh, the rival system, although that isn't as big of a thing as people Are think it is. Him? At least I don't think it is. Like it's, it's an interesting mechanic, but I don't think it's done as well. As ah, no. I wonder if an has ever Gotta remember that you have to be facing a different. Oh, okay, whatever game you don't want to. Usually, all I have to do is do this, and then it'll hang. Okay, fine. I'll I'll go around. Keep your eyes. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Gorga? Okay, drop. Dude, drop. Thank you. Alright. Took care of that, dude. I don't know why I like their killing enemy. Their, their death sounds. Gorgeous. You need some shut eye. Goroth will kill you if he catches you napping. Goroth well. never comes here. He's always by the hunting camp. Goroth's in the oh. hunting camp. So much for him always being in the same place. 
captain who fears his own base. The deer is a powerful tool, Tarion. Let's put Goroths to work. All right. Let's open up that cage. Oh, did that not work? Why? No, maybe I missed. No, you didn't. Unleashed. Why does that get us? Capital. Oop. No. <laughs> Whoops. Freed. Okay, yeah. I've, like I said, I've already done the freeing them from their cages multiple times, so. Alright, we'll leave, we'll leave that guy to deal with that. So. Looks like there's another one around there. We're close. Time, uh, no. Which one of this filth is Goroth? Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, we know about that. I kind of figured that out already, game. Thanks. I've played too many games to kind of just figure that stuff out on my own, so... Is that it? That's probably him. Yep. Sometimes the Karagors will take him out just the, by themselves, you know. Yeah, since he's afraid, he's pretty much out of the uh, out of it for now. Oh, I hope that guy doesn't attack me. There we go. That was easy. That that won't be the same later, though. After power struggles, uh, battle reports will recap the events and shifting powers of Sauron's army. View two. Yeah, well, we've seen it already when I lost that. Um, that little mini quest, a side quest with the sword, but we'll show it again because I was kind of trying to skip it at the time and I wasn't really paying attention. So, Ratbag versus Goroth. So obviously, we killed him, but he gets the credit. Who would promote a coward as a, 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 that's his moniker? Like, who would go, hmm, a guy who's been known to run away in the face of danger. He's perfect leader material, yes, because he likes to stay behind the lines. He's very intelligent, right? Yes. Makes a lot of sense. Hey, you two. Hey, hey. I need you to take a body back to my tent. I'm gonna get me a trophy. <laughs> get lost, scum. We only take orders from Gorov. That's the filthy corpse. I need you to carry. Now go, go. Say your fish. <laughs> Be respectful, you dunghill worms! Or it'll be your ear next time! Ratbag is your captain now! Let's go take a gander. Yeah, and when you're done with that, I've got more bodies for you to carry. Meet me at the crossroads. An old friend there is about to lose his head. <laughs> Apparently, orcs die so often that the power structure is just, well, obviously in this case maybe a bit different, but it's just assumed. You like rather quickly, it's just like, oh, he's dead. Okay, <laughs> next guy. He's our next captain. They must spawn these guys really quickly. Yeah, game mechanic wise, but you know what I mean. Oh, we got a new entry for Ratbag. Ratbag. Ratbag the Uruk craves power without knowing what he would do with it. He cannot heft a heavy weapon over his head, but he will stupidly perhaps attempt to claw his way uh, to the top of Sauron's army by aligning with his people's great enemy, the K Gravewalker. He has deluded himself into believing that the ranger will help him become a war chief, and once he has power, he'll be able to keep all he has achieved. His many scars bear witness to his ineptitude and history of failure. He is craving little. Th he is a craving little thing whose only chance of success is in spite of himself. Well, wow, that's pretty much telling you what's going to happen to this character later on in the game. Like they're not really, they're not hiding the fact that uh, of what's going to happen. I don't know if that was a good call to have that be in the description or a bad idea. Well, either way, we succeed and get our First experience I'm resurrected and our reward. By a wraith. Now I am working with an orc. What could Stranger possibly have happened. next? We must use the weapons of our enemy against him. The orcs hate each other almost as much as they hate us. Now, looks like we got a 
Looks like we got a few options now. Now that we've uh, defeated Ratbag, now we can do uh, power uh, power quests, which are just like basically ways to get power rewards so we can actually upgrade those abilities. I might do some of those off screen, but now we've got a couple of new main missions. Uh, ooh, I didn't know an outcast mission could be a, uh, considered a main mission. So, all right. But yeah, in the next episode of uh, uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, we'll continue. We'll gather a few more artifacts, but continue our quest to take down the power structure to get to the Black, Black Hand himself. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.